Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia Counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WILN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. A home was damaged by fire this morning in the city of Pottsville. Firefighters were called to the home at 511 Peacock Street just before 9. Crews found heavy fire to the rear of the home. A woman who lives there escaped with a dog, while Pottsville firefighters were able to save two additional dogs as well as a cage containing birds. Firefighters from Pottsville, Minersville, and Schuylkill Haven were called called in along with Schuylkill EMS assisting at the scene. Now, while firefighters were battling that house fire on Peacock Street, a fire police officer was struck by a hit and run vehicle while directing traffic. That officer was taken to the hospital, no word on name or condition. After allegedly sexually assaulting an 18-year-old woman, a Hanover Township man now faces charges. The female victim telling authorities last month that she visited the home of 19-year-old Keith Eichler May 12th. She and three men at the home began drinking. After two of the men fell asleep, the victim told police Eichler forced her into his bedroom where he then sexually assaulted her. Eichler told police that he had no recollection of the incident. He was arraigned on numerous charges and remains free on bail. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for August 29th. As we reported last night, residents in one Luzerne County community are requesting if a road bearing the name of a priest who was named in the AG's report should be renamed. Now a meeting has been scheduled to talk about it. Hazel Township Supervisors called a public meeting for Monday, August 27th, 6 p.m., to discuss the renaming of the road. The road in question, Father Angelo Drive. It's in the Ridgewood section of the township. Reverend Gerard Angelo served for 31 years in the township as administrator and pastor at St. Raphael's Roman Catholic Church in Harley and as pastor emeritus when the church was renamed Sacred Heart of Jesus. Angelo died in 2009. He's listed in the grand jury report on sexual abuse by Catholic priests. He's accused of sexually abusing a 14-year-old male while he was assigned to a parish in Williamsport in the early 1960s. Angelo denied those accusations during an interview with then Bishop James Timlin. Again, that meeting is set for Monday, August 27th, 6 p.m. at the Township's Commons Building. The Diocese of Scranton and four of its priests agreed to pay more than $3 million in damages to compensate victims who allege priests sexually abused them. That's according to that statewide investigating grand jury report. The diocese itself paid a little of $3 million and three priests paid settlements totaling $49,000. One priest agreeing to pay a victim $700 a month until that priest died according to the AG's report. In the diocese settled a 1991 lawsuit against former pastor Robert Caparelli. Another case when a priest paid a settlement began in September 2010 when a 64-year-old man told the diocese a priest named Joseph Bucklow sexually abused him when he was eight years old. At the time of that abuse, according to the report, Buckalo was at Most Precious Blood Church in Hazleton. Also in that amount is $75,000 settlement to a woman who was a minor when Father Thomas Skotek impregnated her in the early 1980s and helped her get an abortion. Many Catholic newspapers delayed publications because of that grand jury report that was released earlier this week. The Diocese of Scranton's newspaper, The Catholic Light, was released yesterday instead of last week so that it could feature coverage on the report. The edition included a message from the Most Reverend Joseph C. Bambara and information on how the diocese has taken steps to prevent abuse. 
The Diocese of Allentown's diocesan newspaper released a special edition on Thursday, and the Diocese of Harrisburg preempted the report by publishing an issue of the Catholic Witness last week, reporting on the diocese's release of findings from the investigation. Its newest edition was released today. The articles from the Catholic Light and Catholic Witness can also be viewed online. About two dozen residents in Klein Township owe more than $5,000 on their garbage bills. Supervisors say these residents will now face action before the local magistrate if they don't pay up. The township secretary says the 24 residents have received delinquent letters and have until tomorrow, August 18th, to pay. Each delinquent owes $245, which is the annual $170 plus a $75 surcharge tacked on because the bill was not paid by June 30th. Coming up on WILN News, a popular cancer wellness center is now staying open. Plus, hounds, cars, and motorcycles. Julia Wiegand will have the details. But first, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 11 tonight. Some more thunder overnight with a low of 68. For the weekend, looks like those thunderstorms could linger here and there. And temperatures are a little bit cooler. We'll be right back. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the whole crew's invited, where fans become friends, where good times roll, and the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends, bring your family, just bring it. Pocono style. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Some members of the Crestwood School Board are open to the idea of Butler Township students transferring to the district, and that's according to the board president. Butler Township supervisors voted earlier this week to ask the district about the change. Over 130 people have signed a petition requesting the transfer. Though it was not brought up at Thursday's school board meeting, President Bill Jones said it would be a good fit. The process, though, can take years to complete. It must be reviewed by a court and the State Department of Education. With the departure of Principal Don Basic, a new interim principal will be stepping in at Holy Family Academy in Hazleton. Jason Tribbett will be leaving his position as athletic director at MMI Preparatory School in Freeland to move on over to Holy Family for the upcoming school year. Basic announced last school year that he will be retiring, and the superintendent of schools for the Diocese of Scranton sent a letter to the staff at Holy Family informing them that Tribbett will serve as the new interim principal. He has a master's degree in education and a bachelor of science degree in physical education. Tribbett said he is excited about the opportunity and is looking forward to working with the faculty, students, and families at Holy Family. It was earlier this month that Candy's Place on Wells Street in 44 announced that they would be closing their doors in September. Today, 
good news. A post on their website says they're going to remain open. Candy's Place has been helping cancer patients and their loved ones since September 1998. The post says, due to the overwhelming calls of support and offers to help, we have begun restructuring and organizing Candy's Place with the intention of keeping our doors open for years to come. The second annual Horsepower for Hounds Car and Bike Show is coming up next weekend. Our Julia Wiegand has the details. Horsepower for Hounds Car and Bike Show is back again this year on Sunday, August 26th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Robin Rimsky of Horsepower for Hounds said that last year had such a great turnout that they've teamed up with Valley Scoops for more space. This year, Horsepower for Hounds is benefiting Pocono Greyhound Adoption, the Greyhound Health Initiative, and SAGE, which is Save a Galgo Espanol. Our event sponsor is Electric Frog Designs over in Drums. We also have a bunch of different businesses uh, locally and not so locally who are sponsoring, and all of our sponsors are actually sponsoring awards. So each award category is a sponsor. We have sponsors such as Death Row Motorcycles, Invisible Fence of Northeast Pennsylvania, Whitehaven Veterinary Hospital, and many others. The event will have six different car categories and three different motorcycle categories, which should bring in some interesting vehicles. Rimsky is expecting some supercars to make some exciting appearances, as well as 4x4s and custom motorcycles. It's going to be really, I think, varied and a lot of fun for the folks. We are also a very family-friendly event, so we really encourage people to bring the whole family out. We're going to have face painting for the kids. There's going to be live music. Uh, we're going to have raffle baskets, so it's going to be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of things to do and a lot of things to see. Those who'd like to be part of the car and bike shows can pre-register on the event's Facebook page for $10. Day of registration is $15. If you pre-register, you're guaranteed to get a fun event t-shirt that we're developing for this year. And uh, for people who just want to come out and see the cars, see the motorcycles, there's no cost for that. Once again, the second annual Horsepower for Hounds Car and Bike Show will be taking place Sunday, August 26th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Valley Scoops, Rain or Shine. Reporting from Sugarloaf for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Coming up on Hunlock Gardens News Choice, getting ready for back to school in Community and You, plus the weekend review. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Cat Napper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. Matt Cartwright is too liberal and out of touch, supporting sanctuary cities, protecting criminals, more welfare, voting to raise our taxes by thousands while refusing to pay taxes on his luxury Washington condo, and voting with Nancy Pelosi 96% of the time, calling her wonderful. The better choice? John Schrin, job creator, family man, shares our values. John Schrin for Congress. I'm John Schrin, and I approve this message. FunFest is celebrating 40 years. Come to downtown Hazleton, September 8th and 9th for Greater Hazleton's largest free family festival with great ethnic and festival food, activities, games, the animal show, fun inflatables, a car show, and great entertainment all weekend long. Fireworks start at 8 p.m. on Saturday, and on Sunday, it's the great FunFest parade. Admission is free. Parking is free. Call 570-455-1509 or visit funfestpa.org. FunFest is made possible by these sponsors. Welcome to Community 
community and you here on WYL and everyone. I'm Gary Pern. I'm very pleased to have with me Brian Upland. You're the superintendent of the Hazleton Area School District. And uh, Brian, I can't believe this. School is starting very shortly, August 27th. Um, I don't know. Are you more excited to have <laughs> school start? Are you excited to get kind of back into the swing of things? Or are you sad the summer's over? Uh, a little bit of, the, of, <laughs> of all the above. Um, now it, it's been a, a very busy summer. Uh, we've been doing a lot of different things, you know, in it, uh, lack of a better term, behind the scenes right. on getting some things ready for, for the school year, especially, you know, cleaning the buildings and uh, preparing for the kids to come in, ordering books and supplies and, you know, things like that. And it, it seems like the, the summers go so much faster mm -hmm. the older that I get. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're we're tremendously busy. We're still busy. We'll, we're going to be busy until next summer, mm -hmm. you know, with with everything that's going on. But we're we're very excited to get the kids back, get all the teachers back, and, and get back into the swing of things. And, and it kind of brings a little bit of a normalcy right. uh, to our schedules. Now I know um, this will be the, really the first school year where you kind of have your new administration team in place. Where you really, you know, everyone was kind of put into place. At the right, the beginning of last year and through the year, uh, but this is really the first time you all have been able to work through the summer right. to get ready for a school a school year. Right, and it's been tremendous. I, I have a fantastic team by my side. Um, we work together very well. Uh, there's a lot, like I said earlier, a little uh, a lot going on. We're hiring mm -hmm. teachers, we're hiring support staff, security. Um, you know, we're we're constantly moving forward. Now I know, you know, at the end of last year, there and through the summer, as you said, you were hiring teachers. There was a lot of teachers who retired um, out of the district. There are some other positions that had to be um, redone uh, because of enrollment is just getting to be so right. large. Right. Yeah. We, and we're seeing that now. Uh, we we haven't had that influx, and and I wasn't here in August. I didn't come to physically be here in, mm -hmm. until September of last year, but. So I'm told there's a bunch of people that will come at the beginning of August, or the middle of August, or the right. beginning of the school year, I should say, that uh, they'll be lined out the door, you know, wanting to come in and register. And again, that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, our doors are open, and, and, and we will we will bring them in with open arms. Um, it's just the space issue that we're continually right. dealing with, and uh, we have uh, some so a little bit of direction now that uh, we're working on the pools. Uh, they're they're going to be drained in, in each of the, the the four elementary middle schools um, then that process will go out to bid um, in September be awarded in October and then the construction will start there and I know and that will help uh, alleviate some of the overcrowding uh, that we're seeing in the elementary middle schools uh, as far as the high school goes the career center you guys are still feeling a little bit of pain in there with overcrowding as well uh, especially now at the beginning of the school year and there's still a lot going out I know you guys have been looking at buildings you're looking at plans that or you know should we build should we remodel something and that's a continuing process you guys right. are going through right most definitely and, and we are we're looking at buildings that the vacant buildings that we may be able to purchase which sometimes are uh, uh, more expensive to renovate right. uh, rather than just building a new building so uh, we, we're looking at all the options that are available to us uh, to make a determination on what direction we're going to go for the 9 through 12 um, but there there is hope there you know there there's mm -hmm. there's light at the end of the tunnel uh, to make sure that, that we have enough room for all the students coming to us. Uh, and I know this is not really school, school related, but the first football game will be on the 24th before school starts. Right. So I know the uh, maintenance crew and all have been out at Harmon Guy Stadium making sure everything's ready to go for that Friday uh, to kick off football season. And the new turf is down and it looks great. Right. We do. It's beautiful. It, it, it really brings out the the area you know it's it's very bright and vibrant and we have a lot planned for the 24th uh, a lot going on that day uh, uh, we'll have tailgating and, and music and and uh, just to bring in the season more mm -hmm. and make it more of a, a community feel um, rather than and not just to say adjust a football game but right. bring the community together and to kick off the school year right all right Brian well thanks so much so again uh, Hazleton area school students August 27th that Monday is your first day back at school and of course throughout uh, the next couple of weeks here leading up into that, we will have full coverage of back to school here uh, in the greater Hazleton area. The superintendent's sticking around, uh, so stay with us and watch for our next episode of Community New. We're going to talk about some things that need to be done uh, that you need to make sure is done for the beginning of school year. 
Stay with us, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on Community and You. We'll see you next time. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Serve the Lord, singing for joy, the CD by the Sisters of Holy Annunciation Monastery can be yours for just $13, which includes shipping and tax. Mail a check to Holy Annunciation Monastery, 430 West County Road in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, or call 570-788-1205. This 10-song CD can be yours for just $13. WYLN, first in live sports. We bring you the event, not just the highlights. Live coverage of the high school football season starts August 24th on WYLN. We're your local network. WYLN programming is online all the time. Visit our website at WYLNTV.com to watch archived shows and a live stream of our broadcast shows. And don't forget to visit all of our social media pages for breaking news, weather, and sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Monday. Flooding around the region thanks to heavy and steady rain that fell in many communities throughout our area. Communities in Schuylkill, Carbon, Columbia, and Luzerne County were underwater, some for the third time in just over a month. The cleanout continues this week. Tuesday. Just after two, Pennsylvania's Attorney General Josh Shapiro released a 1,300-page grand jury report into sexual abuse in six different Catholic dioceses in Pennsylvania. The report found 59 predator priests from the Scranton Diocese, 37 from the Allentown Diocese, 45 from Harrisburg, 41 from the Erie Diocese, 20 out of the Greenberg Diocese and 99 predator priests out of the Pittsburgh Diocese. The AG condemned leaders in the Catholic Church for hiding the report of abuse. Wednesday. The fallout over the grand jury report into abuse in six Catholic Church dioceses in the state continued. In total, the report found abuse from 301 priests and other religious leaders since the early 1940s. The grand jury learned of more than 1,000 cases of abuse, and some believe that the number could even be higher. More than 100 of the accused priests have died. Others have retired or were dismissed or put on leave. Thursday. Some residents in Hazel Township are questioning if a road named after a priest who was named in the grand jury report should be changed. Father Angelo Drive is in the Ridgewood section of Hazel Township and is named for Father Gerard Angelo. He was a pastor at the now closed Sacred Heart Church and Shrine. The report alleges he sexually abused a 14-year-old boy at a church in the Williamsport area years before coming to Hazel Township. We now know that Hazel Township supervisors will call a meeting to discuss changing the name of the road on August 27th. Friday. Firefighters in Pottsville were called to a house fire on Peacock Street just before 9 o'clock Friday morning. Crews found heavy fire to the rear of the home. A woman who lives at the home escaped with a dog, while Pottsville firefighters saved two additional dogs as well as a bird. While firefighters were battling the fire on Peacock Street, a fire police officer was struck by a hit-and-run vehicle while he was directing traffic. The officer was taken to the hospital with what are believed to be minor injuries. That's your weekend review here on WYLN News. And Fun Fest coming to downtown Hazleton in 22 days. Part of the fun of Fun Fest is trying your hand at one of the many games you can play during the event. Mark the calendar Fun Fest, September 8th and 9th. 
Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. You'll meet Jim Antonelli, a gentleman who had a traumatic car accident and was in a lot of pain until he found Dr. John and Dr. Stacy and chiropractic care helped him back on his way to wellness. His story this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. Join us.
You're watching The Poconos Choice. For news, weather, and live local sports, WYLN, we're your local network.